Good morning, good morning. 8 a.m. in the Amazon Tena. And now we're just on an early morning bike ride going to the town of Shandia. You can see everyone here. Yes, here we go. Yes. So we're going on a bike ride. We're going to stop by some villages um, in the Amazon to learn just a bit more before we head to Papa Jaka. And Papa Jaka, we're going to have some really nice hot springs in our hotel and also in the town. Nice markets. Um, yeah, so we're doing this early morning hour, I think six kilometer bike ride around the town here in Tena to Shandia and then we make our way to Papa Jaka. All right, six kilometer bike ride. Let's go. Oh, oh two cyclists. <laughs> Just doing a spin class. Just, yeah. I'm on way out here. There we go. Look at the views. On a Thursday morning, 8.30 in the morning, in Tenna. Oh, nice breeze. Shah doing up cyclist. All beige. Leroy beige doing helmet, up. Beige bike. Doing up Chris Foy. <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh, what are the racks? Ah. Vamos. There she goes, cyclist. No hands. Do no hands. <laughs> oh, <God>. Again. <laughs> oh come on. Al que lo saludaban en diferentes familias. Si decían Chan, Chan era buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches. The locals in the past, uh, they used to use Sha as a, as a greeting. So they used to say hi, saying Sha in the past. As he said, now Shandia, it is a composed word of a Quechua and uh, Spanish. So we're in this village here. This is a tiny little village where there's 80 families and 460 residents. So it's a really small community everybody knows each other um, and it's all very tight and well knit hola beautiful and everyone is so friendly as we go past everyone they're all saying hello hola so it's a really nice community um, the shandia community all right so we're just gonna keep cycling around one tiny hospital oh that's a chicken it was a dog attacking me one small hospital one small police station but yeah really nice wow it's something that they also promote a lot of the local snacks so this is a croquette made of the yuca dough so here you can see the yuca In Papayata. The <laughs> bougie is totally yeah. Yes. Woohoo! All right. From the Amazon jungle with no electricity 
cold showers, no everything. To now Papayata. Uh, still foggy, still mountainous. But we have got <laughs> thermal pools, a spa. What else have we got? Oh, Chocolates just luxury. On <laughs> Chocolates on the pillow. Each oh, room absolute has its own pool. luxury. Each room. Yes, we've got our own pool. Well, let's say pool. <laughs> Might be a jacuzzi size. But we cannot wait to see it because we've been in the trenches. So from the trenches to absolute luxury, I want to see. Look, I can see someone in the thermal pool. I can see the steam coming from the pools already. Oh, wow. Look at this. What number? Here we go. 41, we are. Yes. Hello. Yeah, 41 too. All our luggage. Yeah. How did they do that? Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. Ooh, all right. Oh, you get the exclusive room tour here. All right, so let's check it out. Let's see what we got. All right, well, the lights, camera action. All right. I've got the sink here, the hairdryer. Woohoo. All right, got the bathroom, toilet there, stand up shower. Oh, we lit. All right. All right. And we got the beautiful room here. Nice. Don't know whose cars these are, but we here, we live. All right. Complimentary chocolates. Right there, right there. Why does your back seem so much smaller than mine? Because I take the thing off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Wait, I want to see where the hell is the thermal pool? I don't know. Alright. Good. Ooh. I think the thermal pool is just around there. Oh. In the hot springs. Say hi, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, it's so nice and warm. Oh, this is beautiful. It's even hotter on the other side. Really? There's a waterfall with just the hot water on the other side. <laughs> it's alive. It's like this, this water is like actually. <laughs> okay, good morning. Actually, it's good afternoon. <laughs> We've had a really nice lie in here. Um, as you can hear by my voice, the altitude is so high, so you get really out of breath really easy. So we've just taken it nice and slow. We had a bit of a quick dip in the hot springs. Um, it's nearly one o'clock here, and now we're heading back to Quito. We're getting the bus. So yeah, we're just leaving. It's very beautiful here, very green, but just such high altitude. We're 3,200 meters above sea level, and that's so high that they've got an on-site uh, <laughs> medical center because so many people get sick because it's so high. So yeah, looking forward to being a bit lower down, although Quito is not that much lower down. But yeah, it's been really pretty here. The food's been good. The beds were comfy. We had electricity, unlike in the Amazon, which was nice. Leroy has gone ahead of me to order us some food for the bus. So yeah, we'll see you back in Quito. This place is insane. All the yogurts, all the fruits, meats and cheeses. And they've got some egg, some rice, and then they've got some plantain, uh, pancakes, 
all the different fresh juices and then this uh, the veggie stuff they've got the croissants they've got the panda yucas these things which i love different types of bread and the little gluten-free section so yeah pretty good option here Sleepy. Well, I'm here, most importantly. <laughs> I'm here. Arrival. Okay, we need to find out how much this is. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I've never seen a height thing for a dog, that's so funny. I think that's where you go through to get them. Okay, here's the rates. Seven dollars for under eighteen, not us. Nine dollars. of the Deli Rif Deli Perico comply with all the security measures in case of an emergency there's not going to be an emergency we're not going to have to meet that number so don't worry about that okay but the most important thing is the travel time is 18, min 18 minutes and over 4,000 meters high that's a long time amazing <laughs> all right just got to the top of the cable car the Quito mountain Look at that view, amazing, uh, over 4,000 meters up, insane, yeah my ears have popped up here, but that's how high we are, gosh, 4,000 meters up in the sky, pretty crazy. <laughs> It's Leroy's new favourite song. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I was just going to slide over. Yeah, I know, it's an awesome. Also, Kutu Pass is the one that we don't see over there. Oh. Loves the music. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hat down, people might give you money. There's no stopping him. <laughs> Just up here with the pack of golden dogs. <laughs> what the hell? Nobody done told me. 
stairs to the dogs. The altitude is something else. Oh look, this is a dog park. What the hell? It's freezing cold. Show us your hot chocolate. The altitude, I can't even breathe. The altitude's got it's me lot, so breathless. Know. Plus the freezing cold. But the views are priceless. So we've just got a private bus to the bus station and then we're getting a public bus to Atabala. So we're going to be there for one night. It's got the largest market in South America. So I'm very much looking forward to spending some money um, and buying lots of souvenirs. They've got livestock, they've got food, they've got bits and bobs, artisanal stuff. So yeah, looking forward to it. We are now in the bus station. So we're in North Quito at the bus station. We have yeah, two hour bus. It's not stopping, which is fine. And then we'll be there. So, we'll chat to you when we're in Atavalo. Markets. So we have reached Otavalo. It took two hours, the journey was alright. Apparently, we're in the best hotel in Otavalo, and it looks like this. So, this is actually a window to the hallway, which is confusing. And then we have three single beds. So, yeah. Fine. It seems fine, clean enough. We're only here for one night. The view is um, a roof, but yeah, we'll be fine. We're only here for one night. TV up there, they gave us a remote when we checked in, wrapped in plastic. So, yeah, that's um, nice. And then, yeah, TV, bathroom in there. So, yeah, we're just gonna go and have some lunch and then we're gonna go and explore the markets. Because it's a hostel, it's got quite cute waiting rooms, look. Little two areas with hammocks. Cute. All of the prices of a very alive indigenous group, which is the Otavaleños. So this is the name, how the people here are named from Otavalo, okay? So the Otavaleños, probably <coughs> you can notice that they are wearing two main colors, which are like a, a white and a dark one. That can be blue or can be uh, black, okay? So this is in order to represent something that for them is very important, which is the dualism in everything. So uh, it's very attached to their traditions and their culture itself. So um, the white represents the day and the, um, the dark and the, the night. And same, like the good and the bad and, and so on. But also probably you can see that the women are wearing this kind of shawl or poncho that is uh, basically to identify their um, their status, their marital status. So it depends on the knot. If the knot is like in the front, that means that they are married. The knot on, on one of the sides, it means they are single, okay? And the main reason of doing this is just uh, because so they can respect the women that is already like with a, with a couple. anything you need in this market. Have a look. 
Oh, well, this is the world, no, South America's biggest market. Livestock, crafts, knickknacks. Oh, I might want some of that. <laughs> oh, the hummingbirds. I actually already bought a pass. <laughs> okay, we'll show you around. Knee deep in the Ottovalo market, Ottovalo market, should I say. Plenty of stuff that you can buy here. and I felt the quality on some of these and the quality is actually really nice really nice wow. oh, the jazzy PJ we're gonna party you know PJ this is a party you know wow that's it these thick layers because when it gets cold up here at night mm, uncertain days oh. Do you think this top one? Yeah, is that the one you wanted? Yeah, I think so mm. There's some more hummingbirds at the bottom Gracias, yeah. <laughs> You made? Sí, sí. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Gracias. 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 Muchas gracias. gracias. Muchas gracias. Oh, yay! <laughs> oh, I like it a lot. We can put it in our house. Happy with that purchase, yeah? Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to hold it. <laughs> yeah, no way to go. Yay! Good stuff. Around the back, probably. Yeah. Yeah, it's back there. Yeah. This is such a pretty road. Yeah. Such a nice road. Jeez. Yes, yeah, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Looks like they have a cute rooftop, so we're gonna try here. We're a sucker for a rooftop. Oh. Oh, this is so nice. Someone's birthday celebrations. Not nice. Buenas. This is so cute up here. So nice up here. Buenas tardes, gracias. Gracias. We found a cute little rooftop. It's just off this main street. Look at that fresh one. The there, nice. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's get a coffee. Okay, we just whew, just come out of the shower. We just not long ago came back from the Ottavolo Ottavalo market. It was not too overwhelming but there was a lot going on a lot going on um we ended up buying a coin purse which is pretty cute and also we got some art from a older gentleman um who painted it himself which will look nice in the house um from there we then went on to the rooftop found a nice little rooftop had a nice coffee um and just chilled it was really nice auto volley and now we're about to go out for dinner for the night before Tomorrow we go over to Cotopaxi where we'll be staying and then we're going to be hiking up to Cotopaxi by the volcano um, and then three days after that and then the next three days after that we'll be spending in Cuenca um, so yeah we've got five more days left here off to dinner now pretty starving so see you in 